Hello students. In the previous video, we learned about lenses and their types. Today, let us see some terms related to it. So for that, let's bring one biconcave lens and one biconvex lens on the screen. The principal axis is an imaginary line that passes through the center of curvature and the pole of the lens. Yes, this imaginary line passing from the center of the lens is the principal axis. Remember that this line is always perpendicular to the lens at its pole as well as its center like this. In other words, it is normal for a lens to be at its pole and optical center O. The next term is pole. It is the center of the spherical refracting surface of the lens. Yes, this surface where the light bends or it refracts is called the refracting surface for this lens. So there are two refracting surfaces, one this and the other one on the other side. The center point of the refracting surface of the lens is called pole denoted by P. Remember, it lies on the surface of the lens and not inside the lens. Well, it is imaginary. It is also a point where this principal axis meets the surface of the lens. The next term is optical center O. It is the point at the center of the lens or it is the point on principal axis that is located at the center inside the lens. Remember, the pole is on the surface of the lens, while optical center is inside the lens, in exactly in its center. Since this is the geometrical shape, the optical center is also the geometrical center of the lens. This vertical line that you see, which is passing through this optical center, is called the optical axis of the lens. So now let's move on to the next term which is center of curvature C. We know that spherical lenses are made from spheres. And as we know, a lens has two spherical surfaces. So these two spherical surfaces form a part of sphere. And the center of these spheres is known as center of curvature. It is denoted as capital C. But wait, for lenses, we denote C as 2F, that is 2 times the focal length. Well, why? We will see it soon. Clearly, remember that the center of the lens is the optical center. But the center of curvature is the center of the sphere from which the lens is made. So the next term is radius of curvature R. The distance between the optical center of the lens and center of curvature of the spherical lens is called the radius of curvature. It is also the radius of sphere from which lens is cut out or made. For small sized lenses, R is approximately double of focal length F. Thus, instead of calling this point as C, we call it as 2F in the lenses, which means that this distance between optical center O and point C is double the focal length, which is distance between O and point F. Next term is aperture A. The effective diameter of the circular outline of a spherical lens is called its aperture. Students, throughout this chapter, we shall confine our discussion to such lenses whose aperture is much less than their radius of curvature and whose two centers of curvature are equidistant from the optical center O, which also means that they are made from two equal sized spheres. Such lenses are called thin lenses with small apertures. The next term is principal focus F. Let us now draw some additional parallel rays to this principle. Observe that these rays, after passing through the lens, 
bend in such a way that they meet at a single point on the other side of the lens. This point is called focus point. Now think, why is this happening? This is because we know that convex lens is a converging lens. Yes, and this is because we have seen its structure. And so it bends the light in such a way that it meets at a single point. We call this point the focal point of the lens. Now what about this diverging lens? Yes, we also know that concave lens is a diverging lens. So it bends light rays in such a way that they diverge from each other. This means they are moving away from each other and they are not going to meet anywhere soon. At least not on this side. This means there is no focal point here. No, it's not like that. In this case, what we do is extend the rays back. That is extrapolate them like this on the other side of the lens. And now we see that they appear to meet like this at a point here. And yes, this point will be now the focal point for this concave lens. So whether it is concave lens or convex lens, this point where all the rays meet is called principal focus of the lens. But hold on, did you see that lens has two principal foci? They are represented by F1 and F2. In contrast to mirror, which has always one principal focus point. And can you tell me why? It is because one surface of the mirror is always opaque. So principal focus is always on the one side of the mirror, which is not true for lens. It has principal focus points on both sides. So they are called as F1 and F2. Now the distance between the optical center and the principal focus of the lens is called the focal length of the lens. Note that for different lenses, this distance will be different. That means it depends on shape, size and curvature of the lens. The letter F, that is small f, is used to represent the focal length. Now the question is, how do we find this focal length for the lens? We will see that in our next video.